I don't know if you guys have seen the news yet, but one day ago, the band Yellow Card took to Twitter to announce that they are getting back together for what seems like a one-off show, but has the potential for an array of shows, announcing they will be performing at Riot Festival 2022 on the 17th of September this year. Now, for the last 17 years, Riot Festival has had such a good, solid lineup of punk rock artists, pop punk, and also straight-up rock artists, Smashing Pumpkins have played it a handful of times. Got some other alternative bands on there, such as Faith No More, Lupe Fiasco. And this year is absolutely no different with big headliners, My Chemical Romance, Nine Inch Nails, Amazing, and the original Misfits. But what I really like about this is obviously you've got some big acts on there, such as Placebo, Alkaline Trio, Youngblood, Sunny Day Real Estate, Ice Cube, Jimmy Eat World, and Yellow Card are right up there, top of the bill, which actually didn't happen too often for them. Sure, they headlined a few stages at other festivals. They made massive appearances at Warp Tour, Download Festival. But to have them right up there in the main support slot, pretty much, alongside Descendants, Alkaline Trio, Placebo, Ice Cube, that's really, really, really cool. Because alongside them on the lineup, you've also got bands such as Less Than Jake, who they did a tour with. You got Alexis on Fire, Story So Far, Lagwagon, Amberlin. You could easily lump Yellow Card in with these bands, especially as I'm sure they've toured with a bunch of them before. So the fact that they've put Yellow Card pretty high up on the bill shows they are acknowledging how impactful this band was in the early 2000s and that they have a really adequate fan base and there certainly is a market to put them up there. Obviously, they're not going to put a band who can't draw a crowd up that high on the bill. So it's really cool to see them get the same sort of recognition as these other acts and not just lumped in next to Lagwagon, Less Than Jake and the likes. Alongside this all four members of Yellow Card retweeted and added their own messages to it. Josh Portman plain retweeted, Sean Mackin, Ryan Mendez had a few funny tweets, and William Ryan Key added his own thing. Honestly, never imagined this was a possibility, feeling so happy and grateful, which is really cool because I really feel like when it ended, Ryan wasn't quite ready for that. If you listen to him on podcasts such as, I think he was on Lead Singer Syndrome, or maybe he was on the Mike Herrera podcast, actually, it could have been, talking about how he was wasn't sure what direction to go in. So really, really cool. The original tweet said, it has been more than five years since we have shared a stage together. When we stepped away in 2017, all of us thought it was truly the end. We are so excited to share that we will be playing on September 17th, 2022 at Riot Fest in Chicago, Illinois. Guys, comment down below. Are you guys going? Are you psyched for this? I know that a bunch of people from the UK are flying over to Las Vegas for some of the big festivals this year. Same here in Europe, actually. A bunch of people are flying over to the Czech Republic and Austria for festivals like Nova Rock. What are your plans this festival season, guys? Lots of love. I'll see you in the next video.